I'm Anne Marie Barton. Join me as I help homeowners reimagine their spaces. Discovering an atmosphere of beauty, peace, and tranquility from simple changes to sweeping transformations. I'll be sharing my process, tips, and of course, my vision. With the help of 3D renderings, we'll reveal exactly what's possible, creating an environment of beauty where form and function matter. This is The Vision Maker. My name is Melissa and I am in my starter home. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom condo in Encino, California. Welcome to my home. It's my first home that I own, so I'm really proud of it. And I knew there was gonna be a lot of renovations to do. So i um, been slowly working on projects here and there. And the next project that I would love to tackle is my kitchen. I'm not, I'm not a chef. Like I, I barely know how to cook, but I love the kitchen for the things that I need it for, which is coffee and the microwave. I am learning to cook. So I am, you know, especially, I think if I get new, new appliances, it's going to inspire me to cook more. So that's another reason why I want to update the kitchen. Cause I think if I can make it my own and more functional and more modern, then I'm going to use it more. It really doesn't matter what size the home is, how big it is, how small. I love looking at the possibilities. And today we're at a condo complex in Encino, California. I think I'm looking at her kitchen. I'm ready to go. You're Melissa? Yes, yeah, okay. so nice to meet you. Yeah. Wow, thank Welcome. you for letting us come and see what you've got. I really need your help. I'm so. ready for the challenge. <laughs> it's gonna be a challenge. So let's understand where you are in this place. Is this your first home or? Yes, this is my first home that I own. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom condo. It's about 1,100 square feet. Okay. And it's a fixer upper. <laughs> Ooh, I just peeked toward the kitchen. Is that is that what I'm up to today? That's the, the main event. Okay. The kitchen is the main event. But we can talk a little bit about We some can talk of a lot, of, probably a lot about this stuff. All right. Well, the first thing, if I may. Please. May I unleash the to-dos and what not to do? I am a thick skin. Okay, good. Well, it's not that bad, <laughs> but you have to have a rug. Oh. You, you, you're missing the rug. So is my- because of the dog? She marks. I've had one of those. <laughs> We switched to all wood floors in my you, house yeah. because of that. So. Well, I mean, I paid $2,000 for these carpets and that was a waste, but, um, cause I can't have her in the diaper all the time cause she needs to breathe. Yeah, yeah, and she's worth it. She's totally worth it. Okay. Look at that face. So looking around, obviously you have quite a bit of space. Now we've got a bit of a conversation area going on, but I don't really feel like things are placed. Like I would need a table on this side mm -hmm. and maybe a short lamp. And over here, I'd be interested in maybe a floor lamp because you don't have any cans in the ceiling. So lamps are going to be the trick. And it's not too much with the sconces? No, it will be over there a little bit further. Okay. And it, I'm certainly not going to have it come that high. Okay. But more like a reading lamp. Yeah. You know how those are kind of a little shorter. I like that. And then I'm seeing this piece of furniture here, which tends to be unsure. So what if we turn this, put a little, what I call drink table here. Okay. So that you're set up to have people over Great. and have conversation. Yes. Starting on your kitchen now, looking in this room, it really does seem like it could be better. Yeah. And expand it a little bit for more storage. I can see some gaps, but what do you think? What are you hoping for? I mean, I wouldn't mind if we ripped the whole thing out. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. And do you still want a bar? You want bar stools? It's here. not essential. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm always open to a bar, but I spend a lot of time at my dining room table. Yeah, and so we may not need that aspect. Yeah, okay. especially since this place is so small, maybe do less. Do less. Well, in this area, I know this is clunky and old. I would minimize the bulk of this range, and I would go with a cooktop. Okay. Possibly with a downdraft, so we no longer have to have this apparatus. Great. And then just employ a built-in wall oven, okay? Now, do these cabinets work? 
I mean, they look sticky-ish. They're sticky. Is there something about this that might be a problem? Is yeah. Yours? Yeah. They okay. don't. They don't roll out properly. They don't. Close so properly. we feel pretty good about ripping the cabinetry out. Yeah. Maybe a new sink. Oh, I would love a new sink. Should we get rid of the divide? Get rid of the divide and make it deeper. Yeah, we actually do not hand wash anymore, so this will now fit our trays. Perfect. Okay, I can see the microwaves on the countertop. We could do an under counter microwave. Oh, okay. Which kind of saves a lot of the view line that we don't want to interrupt. I like that. Okay, and then of course our fridge is too deep. Our fridge is too deep and it's next to the wall so you can't open no, the door this is a big problem. Yeah. You have to kind of sneak in there. Oh is this gosh. a big problem for you? It is the biggest problem. It I is get it. very awkward. Well, I, I guess I'm looking at the idea of putting the refrigerator on this side. Okay. And then a cabinet still left to the side of it so you can open both. I would love that. I like it here because when you look in the room, I just don't want to see the fridge first. No. So it's all about the view. Yes. And of course, a counter depth so it's not as deep. Okay. Have you heard of that? No. It's as deep as the counter, so instead of sticking out, Makes sense. you know, it blends. Love it. Okay, what about the flooring in here? Is that up for grabs? Please, let's get okay. rid of these tiles. I think a brighter look would be nice, cleaner, okay. lighter yes. in this kitchen. That would be yeah. awesome. Toaster oven required? I do love a toaster oven, to be honest. Well, I see you've got a <laughs> lot of pieces here. I'd wish that we could create kind of a breakfast center. Okay. Where you could put those kind of small appliances in one place. That would be awesome. And then let's make these cabinets go all the way up so you have more yes. storage. Yes. <laughs> I love your reaction. And the last thing that I could see in this. Oh my God, the lights. Yeah. What I, are these lights? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but they're leftovers. So I'm thinking it would be really cool, kind of like the sconces you did. I love those. What if you did three lights in the ceiling? Okay. You need light yeah. in your kitchen. Absolutely. Okay. I think we should do this. Great. I would love that. So I'm going to draw this up so you can get an idea of how it could look with all of these changes. Okay. And I might you. think of one or two others. I would love so that's my work. job. So thank you. Thanks so for much. sharing it with me. Oh I my gosh, it. you are such a godsend. I feel really grateful to have Anne Marie's advice, and I can tell that she really cares about me and my personality and what fits for me, and also, you know, how to be more contemporary and make things more functional. So I feel really lucky to have her advice, and I'm gonna hire a contractor for the rest. <laughs> I feel really good about this one. I think Melissa's in there right now, throwing a few things away, looking for cupboards online that she can store more things behind closed doors, possibly creating a more zen feel and dreaming about the kitchen we talked about. I can't wait to draw it. What I loved about working with Melissa is her zeal and her pride for her first home. It was humbling for me and I want to do a good job for her. And she has the right ideas. We needed a new kitchen and she is ready to go. So I just went for it and described all the things I thought could happen that would make that a much better experience for her. Melissa had everything out in the kitchen and that was kind of the biggest problem is she just did not have enough storage. So that was mission number one to design a kitchen where we could hide that coffee maker, the toaster, the microwave, and the toaster oven. Next, the problem of the refrigerator. She needed a counter depth fridge so that it will all flush out and be one depth. She also needs a full height pantry. She needs all of the uppers to go all the way up for as much storage as humanly possible in this galley kitchen. Now, she admitted she's not much of a cook, but she did say she's motivated to learn. So I thought, why not use a darling range right there in the kitchen, a small one, 36 inches, but something that makes you want to cook and something beautiful. And the rest of the space would be decorated with light tones. The uppers would have a painted finish that felt light, but not white. The bottoms would have the wood texture in white oak, of course. And it's light and arid um, to make her feel bigger in the space. We have to be able to make that kitchen an extension of the family room because of all of the adjacencies. So let's go into the dining area. She right now has a rectangular table that almost fills the space. 
So I thought, let's go round and kind of a cool base. I decided to go with a table that had a brass base, stone top. Sometimes those are actually just easier to keep clean. Also, the chairs that are there are upholstered. So again, they add to the softhood and the simplicity of the space. Now, the walls. They're white right now, and I'm thinking that we should consider adding a wall covering. Wall coverings are really a good answer when you need to add texture. This one's subtle, and it's actually out of a fabric. I love how quiet the pattern is because at the last minute, I decided to go with this as the tile throughout the kitchen. This is a handmade zellige tile that is made out of terracotta, and it has a sheen to it. Now, I don't love a sheen on a countertop. This is dry, this is honed, and this will be the top of our countertops, very light. But up above that would be this shiny, reflective tile, and I love the pattern of this all over the walls. Melissa mentioned that she might like something fun in the floor of her kitchen, but I thought let's do it with the dishes and the backsplash and just run the wood floor right through the kitchen. Again, that seamlessness makes everything feel a little larger. As I was contemplating the wall that she wanted to look really good behind her Zoom calls, I thought about running a wood shelf, just extending it off of the upper cabinet and putting artwork on the ledge that would be behind her during her calls. And from the family room, it would contribute to a focal point. Now let's talk about the lighting. Oh my gosh, we had quite an opportunity there. You can see what I chose for over the dining table really takes precedence, but yet it is quiet and it is soft. And then throughout the kitchen, we got rid of whatever was there. I'm not sure I really identified it, but now we have these darling lights that will line that and we won't have to use recessed cans because of course we also have under cabinet lighting. She wanted to leave all of the shelving in the front, and I was a little nervous about it because she does have a lot in them. I'm hoping that I can talk her into taking the dishware and putting it there, the thing she really uses, and take all those picture frames and maybe turn them into a collage wall, something else so that we don't have to see all of the clutter. So look around your kitchen, see what you could declutter, it's so nice to have clean countertops, uninterrupted. Hide those small appliances, put them away so that you feel a sense of peace, even in your kitchen. I'm looking forward to showing this to Melissa. I think it's gonna happen. She said she was gonna call the contractor next. I'm in.